that morning to you. Rest with me for a while. Relax into that same moment of relief you experience after you put down those 10 grocery bags you carried in, that release you feel when you place them down, that freedom you feel when you take off those too tight shoes. Let your shoulders come down. Let your stomach relax. Let your body soften. You're so brave and quiet. I forget your suffering. That's Ernest Hemingway. No one knows your suffering. The depth of your suffering. The weight of what you carry all alone. The thoughts that keep you up at night. John Deloney said, never make final or important decisions in the middle of the night. Never go down thought spirals or Google Web MD rabbit holes after midnight. Don't reconsider your marriage, your career, your parenting, or the state of the world in the wee hours of the morning. Just go to bed, sleep, or read a book with a blanket if you must. I'd say chant if you must. But leave the thinking and worrying and deciding to the daytime. It's easy to forget that the sun always comes up in the morning. And sunlight has a way of helping us see the truth. The truth that the sun never set. God is never gone. The problem's not really there. Truth is. And truth is silent. Bawa Muyadin said, if truth has dawned within you, then there will be no further speech inner or outer, no worry. It's silence, and silence is the greatest truth, the best question. If there's no truth, then there will be a lot of talk, a lot of questions, a lot of problems. One is good and the other is bad. If there is good within you, then there will be no further noise within you. But if you are full of bad, there will be so much talk and speeches and questions. Therefore, seek the good. God does not make a noise. If you need anything, then you only have to knock. And if you're tuned to that point with the sound and no sound of that knock, you'll get an answer immediately. You don't have to make a sound. This is the truth. There is no noise outwardly. There is no noise inwardly. There's only the sound of silence, which is so thick. It's like you could cut it with a knife. The silence is your knocking. The silence is the answer. And it's healing you. Close that body's eyes. It's working on you. It's changing you. Set that body up taller. And tell that love without using words, without using thought, just feeling. Tell it. You that turn stones to gold. Change me. That's Rumi. And then be changed. This is not something that's going to happen later or after you've become or achieved that. It happened the moment you turned to this love, the moment you turned within. Osho said people are ready to go anywhere except within. And Sadhguru reminded us that within is not a direction, it's a dimension. Within is silence. A dimension of no thought. The dimension of no want. The dimension of fulfillment. Of love, of joy. Let that joy rush in to you. Let it light you up. Let it set you ablaze. Fill every cell dancing, worshiping. Life Church said worship is worrying in reverse. You've backed up into this joy again. Decide right now what you want, who you are and sit up even straighter, holding this joy, holding this love, being it. You are that. Don't stop being that. Be unwavering in that. Sadhguru said your emotions will go up and down. Your thoughts will come and go. Doubt will come and go. Your mind will say many things, but that's not important. You be unwavering in this energy, this energy you can feel even when you're sad, even when you're down, even when you're stressed. Back up into this, into this knowing. As soon as you're here, your burden, your suffering, 
is gone. Ravi Shankar said that roughness that you feel is just a minute percentage that is essential for your growth. That's why it's there. That's why you're dealing with what you're dealing with, that thorn in your side. You don't have to pull it out. Please don't complain about it. Don't cry, why me? Just notice it. And noticing it without judgment, without concern and worry, that's what removes it. And I'd say it removes it in time, but it's not time. It's alignment. You only seem to be separate from what you want or who you know you are because you haven't claimed this joy. You haven't recognized this joy as yourself, this unflinching joy in the face of Maya, in the face of what's tempting you to back down. Don't back down. When you're unwavering in this suffering, won't come at all. The problems can't touch you. They can't see you. When you're hearing this, this will elevate you. It will join you with the one. Bawa Muyadeen said that good state will come to you and your life in this world will be exalted. Don't go back to them or that problem or to being yourself, your old self. Stay with love. I love you, and we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift. And follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.